If you are a fan of Formula 1, you have probably heard the term dirty air. In this video, we will explain what this term means and how it impacts Formula 1 cars. Let's get started. To understand dirty air, we first have to understand downforce. Downforce is a measure of how much vertical load is created by a Formula 1 car's aerodynamic surfaces. At high speed, the downforce created by airflow around the body of an F1 car will be far in excess of its weight. This will give the car more grip, allowing for better and faster cornering. In racing, there's a trade-off between downforce and drag. If an F1 car is set up to have more downforce, this gives an advantage in the corners, but increases the drag which reduces the car's straight line speed. When two cars are racing each other in a straight line, the trailing car experiences less downforce. This is because the car in front blocks some of the airflow which would typically go through the trailing car's aerodynamic surfaces. The principle is, the more air which goes through the car's surfaces, the more downforce that is created. The more downforce that is created, the more drag a car experiences. In a straight line, close racing gives the trailing car an advantage. The following car experiences a lot less drag than the car in front due to the reduced downforce levels. This is generally referred to as getting the slipstream or getting a tow. In racing scenarios, you might have observed drivers weaving a little bit as they drive down the straight. Weaving makes it difficult for a following driver to position his car in the slipstream. Commentators often refer to this tactic as breaking the toe. In the corners, the opposite is true. Reduced downforce creates significantly slower cornering for the trailing car. The term dirty air refers to when two cars are racing each other closely around a corner. Generally, the following car loses time due to the reduced downforce. This is why you will often hear drivers complaining on the team radio that they simply cannot follow the car in front of them due to the dirty air. In 2022, Formula One cars were redesigned to reduce the dirty air effect and allow cars to follow each other more closely around the corners. If you are a long-time fan of Formula One, you would have definitely noticed that the 2022 cars can follow each other more closely in the corners compared to prior seasons. Hope this video helped you understand the term dirty air. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula One content. If you'd like to support this channel, check the links in the description below.